Well, there is this feature in Lightroom called Crop Overlay and using this properly can take your image from one level to the next level. And I'm going to explain in this video in just under two minutes, step by step and make it easy for you to use. Well, it's always good if you can use the rule of thirds while capturing the image, but if you haven't, then while editing the image, you can use that using Lightroom. And I'm going to explain this in addition to the regular ones, but then there are a few other things like the spiral ones and how the viewer's eye would lead all the way to the subject. And this spiral is based on some mathematical formula called the Fibonacci series. I'm not going to get into the technical side. Let's leave it to the genius on what the Fibonacci series and how the things work. But in simple terms, how you can use these crop overlays and make your image look much better. So let me not waste too much of your time and straight away dive into Lightroom. So I'm going to open this image, which is from Team 4 Bhutan, where this is the night view and there is a statue of Buddha in the background. The light from the entire city of Tempo is just breathtaking at night and you can see that, well I can see the stars above and also these pine trees in, in the foreground. So I want the eye to move from left to the right all the way to the Buddha statue. So this is, that's the leading line and I want that statue of Buddha to be the final place where our eye should move so that's basically the one of the leading lines well while we continue to edit this image i'm just curious to know what are the different rule of thirds that you have used while capturing or while editing images just leave a comment below so now i'm going to select the crop overlay and then there are shortcuts uh, one is r to see the grid you'll have to type in the key r and then keep tapping o for different overlays so you get to see the spiral overlay and then you can crop the image the way you want in order to make it as per the leading lines. So either you can think about leading lines while capturing the image or you can do this while editing. So Lightroom has this feature which we usually do not use. We Even while capturing the photo we just think about the two lines from top to bottom and from right to left. So in addition to that we don't see the spiral and all this kind of leading lines. You need to be careful because not all of them accept crop images, especially if you are applying for some photo competition. But then uh, if it's for some commercial use or for any other use, you can edit it the way you want. You are not manipulating the image, so it's just basic cropping that you are doing in this image, so which is perfectly fine. And also if you have any queries related to Lightroom, then you can always leave a comment. I might make another video and also I'll mention your name maybe. Guys, these are super simple steps that are available and it won't take much of your time to edit photos. There is another video here and there is a complete list of Lightroom tutorial playlists that I've created for you. So guys, if you like this video, if you have learned something today, go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can buy me a coffee, there is a link in the description below. Cheers.